Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on Workbook Lesson 199. I am not a body, I am free. I am not a body, I am free. Freedom must be impossible as long as you perceive a body as yourself. The body is a limit. Who would seek for freedom in a body looks for it where it cannot be found. The mind can be made free when it no longer sees itself as in a body, firmly tied to it and sheltered by its presence. If this were the truth, the mind were valuable indeed, were vulnerable rather indeed. The mind that serves the Holy Spirit is unlimited forever in all ways, beyond the laws of time and space, unbound by any preconceptions, with strength and power to do whatever is asked. Attack thoughts cannot enter such a mind because it has been given to the source of love, and fear can never enter in a mind that has attached itself to love. It rests in God. Who can be afraid who lives in innocence and only loves? It is essential for your progress in this cor course that you accept today's idea and hold it very dear. Be not concerned that to the ego it is quite insane. The ego holds the body near because it dwells in it and lives united with the home that it has made. It is a part of the illusion that has sheltered it from being found illusory itself. Here does it hide, and here it can be seen as what it is. Declare your innocence, and you are free. The body disappears because you have no need of it except the need the Holy Spirit sees. For this, the body will appear as useful form for what the mind must do. It thus becomes a vehicle which helps forgiveness be extended to all the inclusive goal that it must reach according to God's plan. Cherish today's idea and practice it today and every day. Make it a part of every practice period you take. There is no thought that will not gain thereby in power to help the world, and none which will not gain in added gifts to you as well. We sound the call of freedom round the world with this idea, and would you be exempt from the acceptance of the gifts you give? The Holy Spirit is the home of minds that seek for freedom. In him they have found what they have sought, the body's purpose now is unambiguous, and it becomes perfect in the ability to serve an undivided goal. In conflict-free and unequivocal response to mind, but with the thought of freedom as its goal, the body serves and serves its purpose well. Without the power to enslave, it is a worthy servant of the freedom which the mind within the Holy Spirit seeks. Be free today and carry freedom as your gift to those who still believe they ha are enslaved within a body. Be you free so that the Holy Spirit can make use of your escape from bondage to set free the many who perceive themselves as bound and helpless and afraid. Let love replace their fears through you. Accept salvation now and give your mind to him who calls to you to make this gift to him. For he would give you perfect freedom, perfect joy, and hope that finds its full accomplishment in God. You are God's child. In, more immort in immortality you live forever. Would you not return your mind to this? Then practice well the thought the Holy Spirit gives you for today. Your brothers stand released with you in it. The world is blessed along with you. God's Son will weep no more. And heaven offers thanks for the increase of joy your practice brings even to it. 
and God himself extends his love and happiness each time you say, I am not a body, I am free. I hear the voice that God has given me, and it is only this my mind obeys. Let me read that again. I am not my body, I am free. I hear the voice that God has given me, and it is only this my mind obeys. It's a fabulous lesson, really a fabulous lesson, because it gets to the heart of what I talk about all the time, which is that we are not our bodies. This is our housing, right? This is our housing. Our housing will die. Our housing will cease to function. Our housing will get things go wrong with it. But we are not those things. We are not the stories about those things. We are the spirit that animates this body. So I hope you have a great day with this. Feel free to reach out to me if you need additional support, 907-351-3003. Otherwise, I will hope to see you here tomorrow. Namaste and much love.